Okay, so it's the 2nd of January, I'm back up in Manchester, um, and with it being the new year, I thought I'd recommit myself to the most important thing that I do, which is vegan activism. Um, and so we've got two activist events coming up within the next 24 hours, so I thought I'd take you with me just for a 24-hour insight into the life of an activist. I'm not normally this busy, I normally do a couple of events a week, um, but we just happen to have two that are quite condensed together. And I'm, I'm sorry I've not been uploading every Wednesday at half 5 p.m. like I'm supposed to do, uh, but you know, I've not been in town and it's been pretty hectic to get time to edit. But yeah, come with me guys. Gone into Manchester. Um, I'm a little bit late for the event, but that's because of my train. Um, but yeah, the event that we're going to is called uh, the Earthlings Experience. If you're familiar with Anonymous for the Voiceless, it's pretty similar to that. I personally prefer the Earthlings Experience. Um, in my opinion, there are some things. Uh, in my opinion, there are some things that I think could be improved with Anonymous for the Voiceless, and that's what Earthlings Experience is. But I mean. Who am I? I'm just some dude online. There are more effective activists than me. Uh, but yeah, it's raining outside, so I probably shouldn't have my camera out. And it just got pretty dark, so you probably can't even see me. So I just got off the train, um, so I'm going to have to try and navigate um, and vlog at the same time because I've never been to this place before. Um, but I've got pretty mixed emotions. Um, I've heard that this changes the way you do activism, the way you look at it. Uh, it makes it a lot more serious, a lot more real, um, which I think is important. But also, this is going to be the first time that I've ever seen a living pig. And it sucks that... Um, it can't be a happy thing. Um, there has to be a very solemn, serious deal because, you know, they're going to their deaths. Um, I think Tulip is quite infamous as well because it's got supposedly um, super high welfare standards. But um, in this one, the pigs are gassed um, and you can hear them from a distance. Um, but I mean, we should have a pretty good turnout today. We've got, well, I mean, we've got Joey from Australia. Um, come in, obviously. Um, and then I know of at least one activist coming from Edinburgh. I've never done a vigil before, but that's because um, I can't normally make it. Whilst this one lasts until four in the afternoon, um, they normally finish at maybe 11. And because it's such a long way for me to come, oh, because it's such a long way for me to come, um, it's never really worth me doing it because I'd only be there for an hour. Um, you know. I feel like if I'm going to take this activism a bit more seriously, I should, um, I should, uh, I should try to get down to as many as I can, and hopefully it'll make some somebody watching this, preferably a non-vegan, make it feel a bit more real for them. But yeah, hopefully it'll make this maybe feel a bit more real to maybe any non-vegans watching this. Hopefully you'll see it and make the connection in your head that um, your sandwich had somebody in it. So I'm just walking through the centre of Ashton now on my way to the slaughterhouse. Um, pretty messed up. Just, uh, it's pretty messed up. I just smelt some uh, bacon coming from a cafe and 
I don't know. It's kind of, it's weird to feel so strongly about something. Um, and yet to have a constant reminder everywhere that you're in the minority here. Also yesterday I was talking about how um, I prefer Earthlings experience to Anonymous for the Voiceless and I don't want anybody to interpret that as me not understanding and respecting the work that Anonymous for the Voiceless do. Um, they've converted thousands of people. And whatever's good for the movement, you know, is what's best. It's just that they don't give out leaflets as readily as I'd like to um, and they're not necessarily as useful as the ones that we give out um, at Earthlings Experience but also with um, afterwards Joey um, Carbstrong gave a little bit of um, feedback about it and I think he's he's right with his criticisms about Earthlings Experience but it's important that we can have these conversations and um, talk to each other about how we can improve each other's activism because otherwise we're just not going to improve and you know if we can't accept constructive criticism then uh, the movement's not going to progress oh god I, fuck oh. um christ okay well i've just i could tell i'm at the slaughterhouse because it stinks jesus christ um I see the other activists. I wasn't quite ready for this level of smell. Um, but yeah guys, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so I've arrived at the sword house now. Um, that white truck that I filmed, uh, that's a refrigerator truck and so once the pigs have been um, decapitated um, they're then taken away in those white vans, those white trucks um, they were probably empty um, but I mean they won't be for much longer um, God uh, so yeah, you know, it just makes it more real than I was expecting and I was stood across the road getting some shots of the Manchester pig save banner and I heard a pig scream and that's from all the way across the street um, so I mean I mean I was gonna say I'd like to think what's happening to them in there but we all know what's happening to them in there next time those pigs see a human um, would be the last time they see anybody um, and I didn't expect it to be as uh, like I'm shaking my hand is sh shaking now um, but yeah um, Those pigs have less than an hour of their life left. Um, and yeah, I mean, I know it's cliche to say, but pigs are as intelligent as a three year old child. They're more intelligent than your pet Labrador. Um, they know what's happening. Imagine if, uh, imagine if we did that to your dog. Imagine, imagine if this was happening to your dog. Um, there's a reason that I've had to come out to the middle of nowhere to do this. It's because nobody wants to see it. Nobody likes it. Um, yeah. I mean, I knew, I knew what to expect, but.
I just uh, I just spoke to one of the activists um, from earlier, and it turns out that there were maybe three to four trucks um, before I got here, and so that refrigerator truck wasn't empty. That refrigerator truck um, from earlier was actually um, filled with with babies, basically. Um, pigs live until about 15 years naturally, and uh, the slaughtered is six months. And so that's about the same as a dog. Imagine seeing a six-month-old dog. That's a baby. What you can hear is the screams of uh, some somebody on the way to their death, um, and and can you say that this is worth it for a sandwich for maybe a 50-minute taste sensation? Because I can't. Not when we don't need to. These are all individuals. All individuals who had a family. Who wanted the best for themselves. Who, you know, just wanted to live the same way that I do, the same way that you do. Oof. And I can't stop shaking, and we're killing them. When you pay for a piece of a pig, this is what needs to happen for that. And when you buy more, more are killed. Think about each individual who's being pushed along to their death. Nobody deserves this.
how many of us there are. <laughs> We're a growing movement. Don't feel like if you go vegan, you're going to be the only one that you're not going to make a difference. Every vegan saves up to 200 animal lives a year. We are making a difference. And apparently, um, one of the other activists was saying that um, um, there used to be way more trucks coming in than there are now. So the demand is dropping. We are making a difference. And you can too. Oh, sorry to interrupt that. Um, so the last thing we're going to talk about today is Socratic questioning. Has everyone heard of Socrates? The mm. read chapter three. And he's on to soil. Mm. Last time I spoke to him, he's very important and part of my personality I needed to work on. And I was channeling that through my activism. And I was quite an angry, aggressive uh, activist. Okay guys, so I think we're going to end it there. Um, whilst it seemed like quite a sad video, uh, today's been quite a good day. Uh, it's just been, it's been very full on. Uh, um, but you know, it's important, it's what happens and we have to pay attention to it. That's what veganism is. Um, but yeah, overall it's been quite a positive day. It's been a good day for the movement. I got to meet somebody who inspires me to do a lot of good activism to uh, who inspires me to be the best activist I can be. We're about to do some outreach, but I don't have enough battery on my camera. So yeah, this has been another Bro Coley video, and I'll talk to you next time.